Hey guys, so today we are going to be testing something out. This is something that has been out for a while, and I've actually had it for a while. I just completely forgot. So today I have a little bit of time and I figured I would show you all what we're reviewing. So today we're going to be reviewing the Molly Cosmetics Silly Sponge. If you don't know what this is, it's pretty much... Let me just open it. It's pretty much just a little silicone beauty blender type of thing. So it's supposed to help blend out your makeup and all that good stuff. I don't remember how much I got it for. Um, and they actually, I ordered like three of them, one for myself, one for my sister, and one to give away. But um, I think they messed up on my order and I didn't realize that until like a while later because they didn't send it for like two months from when I ordered it. So I ended up only getting one. But yeah, again, it's just like a little silicone sponge. I'm kind of excited to use this. As you can see, I just have my eye makeup done. I didn't put any mascara or anything. Um, and I have my eyebrows done, but that's about it. But I am gonna do what I normally do to my face just to compare if it makes my foundation last any shorter or longer or any stuff like that. Here are all the details. I'll post them right here. So yeah, that's all the information on this, how much it costs, any of those extra little stuff right there for you all. We'll also put a link to it down below in case anyone wants to purchase it. I'm gonna go ahead and start how I would normally start with my foundation application. I normally use this for my toner and I run ahead and already did that, let everything kind of set and dry. I usually go in with two primers. I go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer and then I'll go in with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation, and right now I'm in between shades, so I'm just going to mix these two. It's the fair shade and the light shade from the It Cosmetics CC Cream Foundation, whatever you want to call this. Um, I am going to carve out one eyebrow because I already have a feeling that the sponge is going to be a little too big to do around my eyebrows, so I'm just going to carve out one and then just leave the other one regular so that we can see the difference. I'm a little nervous, not going to lie. But now I'm going to go ahead and use my Silly Sponge and just kind of dip it on there. It says you can use circular motions or go back and forth until it stops spreading any further. I think this is gonna be really good if you like a really light application because it's saying that you just need to smooth everything out until you don't see any more foundation smoothing. So it's gonna probably give you a really light coverage um, the circles are giving me a little bit of some streaks, but it's actually really easy to buff it out. I need some more. We're gonna apply this over here. And then it's just about like buffing and working it into the skin. But like at some point it actually stops like spreading, which is kind of weird. So for me, I want to say personally, the strokes, like downward strokes, smooths it out very nicely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move to my forehead here. So it's easy, it's really easy to do this brow because I know I'm not going to like touch any of the brow because I did carve it out a little earlier. But for this brow, I'm slightly, I guess it work, kind of works because it has that edge. I feel like I'm going to wipe part of this eyebrow off. I have a lot of little baby hairs right here. It's kind of, my baby hairs are getting all up in the foundation and they're just leaving like little hair strokes on there. So that's making it a little harder. I can't like get really close to my eyebrow and it's kind of making it a somewhat blurry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just carve it out. But yeah, like if you're gonna try to do it without carving your eyebrow, it kind of messes up your edges a little bit. So yeah, definitely carving out your eyebrows would be a tip for sure. Usually my nose is the hardest because even with a beauty blender, um, it's really hard to get like an even layer of foundation on my nose for some odd reason. It will always start like wiping off and stuff. I don't know, my nose is crazy. So I'm hoping that this isn't gonna just wipe off the foundation. I'm actually really surprised right now because for some reason I thought that this was gonna wipe stuff off of my nose, like the foundation, but for some reason it's actually staying on there and I'm a little surprised. I figured every time I use a beauty blender or a brush, it always 
wipes makeup off my nose so I always have to go in there and either tap it with my finger or just figure out a way to like keep the makeup on there but for some reason that's working really well. I also have really big pores on my nose. This is just leaving it really nice and smooth which I'm excited to see what it's gonna do for the concealer. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit because around like I said I have a lot of baby hairs it just looks like a whole bunch of little hair strokes so I'm just gonna blend that around my hairline which honestly if you have to go in with the brush around your hairline it's not that bad and I always I have like a wrinkle here from like making a face <laughs> I always get a lot of foundation there and I always get a lot of foundation here so I'm just gonna kind of pot it out a little bit I wonder if just bouncing this on your face no just kidding don't do that don't bounce it on your face if you bounce it on your face it kind of takes some of the foundation off I keep wanting to pat and every time I pat it takes the foundation off but if you just pull it down a little bit it just like re-puts the foundation on there oh and also I do still have foundation left over I'm not sure you guys can tell which would make sense considering the silly sponge just keeps working the foundation and it's not really absorbing anything like there's literally like nothing left there's just like a really thin layer as you can see now I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this concealer out yeah I'm pretty sure I applied way too much concealer so I'm just gonna wipe some of this off I did ruin the corner of my eyeshadow a little bit so we're gonna have to go back and fix that but it did it left it really nice and smooth under here so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that So now I'm just going to go ahead and set my face, put the bronzer on, some blush, all that good stuff, finish my makeup, and I will see you all once I'm done. So I finished doing my makeup. This is what it looks like. It looks really matte right now. Um, again, it is currently, let me show you all what time it is. It's currently 4.04. I'm not sure if you can see behind my beautiful future husband, but it's 4.04. Um, I have had this on for about an hour, so I will check with you all in a bit. So, it is currently 8.20. I'm not sure if my phone's going to let you guys see. It's 8.20, and it's been a couple hours since I applied the foundation. And I want to show you guys quickly what it looks like. Please pardon my watery eyes. I have a little bit of black under my eyes. But if you look at the foundation, it still looks really good. And the wrinkles I was talking about on the sides of my mouth and right here have not appeared which I'm really surprised and I think it's because the sponge kind of, or the silly sponge kind of it's a very minimal product very light coverage my face looks so nice um, I don't know if it's just in real life but in the camera it looks kind of like whatever but in real life I feel like my skin looks so nice um, so yeah I will update you guys later on once I'm done cleaning some more so I know I updated you guys a long time ago but the foundation is still really good everything is actually really matte surprisingly actually I'm not surprised because considering that beauty blenders or the sponges usually use water there would be a reason why it would be easier for my face to get oily anyways my face is still really really matte the only thing I touched up was that whenever I lay down my water or my eyes get really watery so I did touch up the concealer, but it wasn't, it had nothing to do with the sponge because it was actually like well in place. It was still matte. There wasn't any lines or anything like that. It was just that I had like little black from the eyeshadow all underneath um, or like little speckles. Um, so yeah, I just fixed that. But besides that, I haven't touched up the face in any way, shape or form. I will probably see you all later. Ooh. Um, I have the computer screen on. That's probably why it looks so white. Um, so yeah, I will see you all later. Ever matte poreless priming. Uh, ever. Ugh. If I'm not focused, can you focus on me and on my background? Anyways, okay. Ow. I just hit myself on the chair. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. One second, I have to go turn on the AC. You know, I don't know why I'm not playing music in this household. It's real quiet up in here. I'm home alone. <laughs>